grateful to the chairman for holding this hearing, grateful to our panel for presenting to us today. The title of the, his, uh, the hearing is, is fitting. As someone who's worked in healthcare, I recognize the benefit that innovation brings to patients. From the newest means to detect and diagnose conditions to the cures and diseases that once were thought untreatable, innovation has led the way to bettering the lives of patients. Healthcare innovation doesn't always lower costs, but it always holds the potential to improve the quality of life and therefore is a goal worth pursuing in and of itself. The tools that future doctors will have at their disposal will be unparalleled in the history of medicine for their ability to alleviate human suffering and improve lives. But we need to get the tools in their hands. From custom biologics to nanotechnology to the promises of the human genome, we are on the cusp of a medical revolution. The president, in an executive order, ordered federal agencies to re review and remove outdated regulations. Absolutely agreed, Mr. President, but the proof really remains to be seen. The biggest impediment to innovation is the uncertainty of regulation. If the federal government thinks about regulating something, that almost always means it's planning to overregulate. And there is the difficulty, because the lifeblood of inf innovation, venture capital, will be drained away from the cures that might have been. As a doctor, first do no harm. I don't want to do anything that will harm a patient. But while the FDA struggles with their core requirements that they propose to venture into new areas, like mobile apps and research-only products and health information technology, it really does require a soft touch. Instead of talking to stakeholders, including members of Congress, where updates may be needed from time to time and significant proposed regulatory changes could stop innovation in their tracks, we're just not seeing it happen. Companies will build it, doctors will use it, patients will benefit if we can just get out of the way and ensure responsible regulation in a timely fashion. The reason I care about this so much is because not just today, this is about the future. This is about the men and women that will follow after us in the practice of medicine. These are about the ideas that someone even hasn't even had yet. The lack of a reliable and consistent regulatory process signals an inability to handle the advancements for technology in the future. Mr. Chairman, this hearing is timely. It is in conjunction with other hearings being done in other subcommittees of the full committee. Technology had a hearing yesterday. Uh, we'll have a hearing in oversight and investigations tomorrow, but it's part of a, it's part of a process.